now related to plasma concentration time graph suppose we give a drug a 100 mg we have given drug a 100 mg and after giving 100 mg orally suppose we are giving orally after every half an hour we measure the plasma concentration okay after every half an hour we measure the plasma concentration and then we plot a graph so which type of graph comes so when we are giving orally, initially the plasma concentration will start increasing because absorption will take time. So plasma concentration will start increasing, 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 increasing. It become maximum. So when it is maximum, that means rate of absorption is equal to rate of elimination. At this point, rate of absorption and elimination are equal. Okay? But now the plasma concentration will start decreasing when the rate of elimination increases. Rate of elimination become more than absorption. Plasma concentration will start decreasing. Is it clear? So now from this graph, we can obtain three important parameters. The first is this highest point on the graph. If we extrapolate it on y-axis, this is known as C-max. So C-max simply means, so we have plotted a graph, we have given a drug orally, and we have measured the plasma concentration after every fixed time. Okay. So the highest point on the y-axis is called as C-max. So C-max, what is the meaning of C-max? C-max tells? It is the maximum concentration that we can obtain by giving 100 milligram. 100 milligram dene pe jitni bhi maximum concentration aegi that is called as C max. Okay. On the other hand, if we extrapolate it on x axis, this point is called as a T max. So, what does T max mean? T max means it is the time in which we get the maximum concentration. Okay. So, C max ka matlab hai, maximum concentration we can obtain by giving that dose. And T max means in how much time we reach the maximum concentration. In simple language, T max will be lower if absorption is quick. Agar jaldi absorb ho jayega, to T max will be lesser because the drug will reach the maximum concentration quickly. Clear? So, T max tells about rate of absorption. T max tells about rate of absorption. T max rate of absorption bata. Okay. Whereas C max tells the maximum concentration that we can reach with that dose. So obviously C max will depend upon dose. C max will depend upon dose. More dose, more C max, less dose, less C max. Okay. Now the third important thing is this total area. This total area, this is known as area under the curve. A U C area under the curve and this tells how much total drug has come into the body so this is telling about extent of drug absorption so read very carefully in the mcqs these are the questions asked which parameters tells about rate of absorption which parameter tells about extent of absorption sirf itna sa word hai I keep on telling again and again that you have to read the MCQ very well. If there is a difference in the MCQ, then the answer will be changed. So I told you the example, everyone must be knowing. I have told you about 100 times about Pooja. So that is important to understand. So plasma concentration time graph, this is the question of plasma concentration time graph. So plasma concentration time graph, this is the question of plasma concentration time graph.